What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the announcement that Bungie are nerfing the Menagerie chest farm. Wow. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so last night within the TWAB, Bungie announced that they are nerfing the Menagerie chest farm. So this is what they stated, chest runs. When Season of Opulence begun, we watched as players quickly discovered a bug in how the Menagerie's final chest granted rewards. Players began to race out of the area and then back to the chest as fast as they could to get as many rewards as possible before sent back to orbit. It felt reminiscent of when players were farming treasure keys from chests on their sparrows leading up to the house of wolves. Consider this an error in your favour. We haven't rushed to fix it, but when we patch it on July 9th, this loophole will officially close allowing only one opening of the chest per completion. Until then, we invite you to take advantage of this or you like. Grow fat with strength. So the inevitable is happening. I mean, we always knew it was going to happen, but in my opinion, it's a wrong decision, especially with no announcement of any changes to the way loot drops in this encounter. In my opinion, the Menagerie is too much of an activity for one single loot drop. It's just absolutely 100% pointless to run through it all, which can take ages if you don't complete an encounter to actually get a single piece of loot. And what's the point in offering us so many runes if we're never going to get to actually be able to use them? I mean, I've got stacks of almost hundreds of individual runes and they're just going to build up being absolutely pointless. And what about the heroic version? The heroic version, in my opinion, was such a disappointment. Yes, it is an Argy's Burden Catalyst drop from there. Yes, you get one masterworked weapon per week and there's a chance of swords dropping. But it's quite difficult at the moment and it will continue on being difficult for a long period of time until light level increases. So what's the point all of that struggle for crappy loot if you ain't gonna be able to farm that chest at the end? And Bungie are right, it does feel reminiscent, but it feels reminiscent to us as players, as guardians, as farming places like Omnigo for the Grasper Malak, which although we know it was super repetitive, it was worthwhile sitting there for hours doing that sort of thing. Doing a menagerie, playing the menagerie, knowing I will have about four or five chances of getting a decent individual roll on a weapon was worth my time in actually running the menagerie. In my opinion, them nerfing this without substituting other ways of earning loot from this encounter, from this activity, it was 100% a bad move on Bungie's behalf. I mean, nobody's going to be running this crap no more. I can guarantee you that the fun was having multiple chances of getting a decent roll on a single piece of loot. Now the fix is relatively simple and I hope sometime in the future it's what Bungie do. Simply have a loot drop from every encounter you complete in the Menagerie bar the first part where you have to slam dunk the orbs. Take that out of the picture because people just keep going back to orbit and rinse and repeat in that section. But the two encounters after that leading up to the boss, if you complete them, I think it's two or three. If you complete two, do you go to the boss or three, do you go to the boss? Two or three, whatever. But those two encounters or those three encounters, if you complete them, you get loot from them, obviously depending on what runes you have slotted in your chalice. And the boss furthermore drops loot. And the heroic version, it can be as simple as each encounter you complete drops two pieces of loot with the added bonus of the boss having exclusive loot like swords. And it is as simple as that people. It's just in my opinion, I think it's just too much of an activity, too much time for one single piece of loot from that chest. I appreciate the fact that they're giving us to the 9th of July to farm the crap out of this and trust me people, that's what I'm going to be doing because I still need that perfect roly rental. My problem is I can't get none of the runes of access. But I'm just going to farm, farm, farm away. But yeah, this in my opinion is definitely a bad move, especially if they don't introduce new means of earning loot from the Menagerie. The whole encounter for a single piece of random gear, it just is not worth it. Because if you think of the fact of well, how long does it take to run it, let's say 20, 25 minutes. Within that 25 minutes, running the chest at the end will take an extra three or four minutes, whatever. So say 30 minutes in total. Within that 30 minutes, you can get probably five pieces of gear from farming the chest. When they patch this crap, that will then turn into two and a half hours for five pieces of gear, which will still be random. And that's just from the standard Menagerie, not even the heroic. In my opinion, you don't get enough back for what you're going to be putting into it. So hopefully, Bungie do announce new means of earning loot and like I said, it's quite simple. From every encounter, after the first part, 
allow us to use our chalice. I mean, every encounter starts by you activating it. It gives us plenty of time to put runes in our chalice. And even more incentive, maybe? How about the main boss of the Menagerie, Standard and Heroic, drops a single core when you complete it? That gives people even more reason to play it. I mean, cores ain't as hard to get now, considering the Gunsmiths offers them a daily with bounties. But even so, it still gives people reason to actually play the Menagerie. And like I said, all of them encounters, just for a single piece of random gear, this ain't worth it. But that's just my opinion, people. Let me know yours down below within that comment section. I mean, it was inevitable it was going to happen. We all knew it was a bug. We all knew it was a glitch. We all knew we was exploiting the crap out of the game. And I do appreciate the fact they're giving us until, well, basically two weeks or just under two weeks to actually farm the crap out, which I'm definitely going to be doing. But come July 9th, no more chest farming within the Menagerie. Wow. But guys, on that note, I am out. Let me know your opinion on this down below within that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.